And let's all arise today because this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad with it. Amen. Can you tell the person beside you, let's celebrate today. Amen. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. As we go around, as we walk around, we'll welcome each and every one of us today. Let's shake each other's hands. Tell everyone good morning. Say hello. Let's worship the Lord. Amen. And this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and celebrate. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and celebrate. Oh, this is the day, cause this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and celebrate. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and celebrate. Oh, He goes before me. Oh, He goes before me. He walks beside me. Lives within me, he's the lover of my soul. He's my defender, he's my defender. Oh, he's my provider. Oh, his overflowing mercies are brand new every day. Let's sing this is the day, cause this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and celebrate Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice So oh, I will rejoice, I will rejoice and celebrate and celebrate in the presence of the Lord for truly this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it that right now as we come before him let us pray let us ask for his presence to be in our hearts to be in this place hallelujah oh hallelujah Lord we know and we believe oh God right now you are here in this place oh God where we are going to meet you oh God we are asking for your very presence to move in a very special way as we exalt your holy name. As we leap up your name on high, for you are a great God who can do great and mighty things upon our lives, O Lord Panginoon. That once again, O Lord, O God, as we call upon your name, O God, you will draw near unto us as we draw near unto you, O God. Well, though we do believe, O God, right now you're the one who will be in control, O God. You're the one who will be pleased. You're the one who will be seated in your throne, O God. That right now, O oh Lord of oh God, you're going to fill us up for more of you, for more of your presence, O oh God. That right now, O oh Lord of oh God, that we are going to be still and know that you're the, you're in, you're the God who can do great and mighty things, O oh Lord of oh God, upon our lives, O oh God. Be pleased in everything that we're going to do, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, O oh God, creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, O oh God. That right now, O Lord, Panginoon, as we lift up our hands, lift up our voice unto you, O God, that you will hear our prayers, O God. That right now, O Lord, Panginoon, as we continually pray for your servant that you're going to use for this very morning, O God, in the life of Pastor Anna, O God, that you're going to use, O God, as an instrument of your words, O God. Continuously hide her, O God, in the power of your cross, O God, as that as you speak your name, your words, O oh God, let there be boldness. Let there be courage, O oh God, to do your will, O oh God. 
as you give her oh god for more of your presence more of your wisdom knowledge and understanding oh god that comes from you alone oh god that we do believe oh god as you use her oh god there will be some restoration oh lord panginoon there will be salvation there will be healing let it be blessing upon blessing oh god that comes from you alone oh god that right now oh lord oh god we are claiming all your promises unto us that you are going to pour out to Lord Panginoon, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, that you're going to be with us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord of God, right now, O oh God, fill this place with your people who are hungry and thirsty for more of you, O oh God, that right now, Lord of oh God, be pleased, O oh Lord, be exalted as we claim the victory, O oh God, that right now, O oh Lord of oh God, your people will be rejoicing in your presence, O oh God, to you alone be the glory honor and thanksgiving in the name of jesus is all we pray amen amen the greatest clap of praise to our living god today and forever and until the lord jesus comes again forever we will sing of his praises today amen hallelujah Oh, I love you 
always, oh I, oh I love you always, oh I love you always, and ever I will sing, only you will I adore, glorify my Lord. Jesus, for the world will fade away. Still, my song to you remains. Only you, the shout of the earth will be a praise. God forever and the light unto all will be your one. Shout! The shout of the earth will be a Let your heavenly God see your praise and your worship today. Will be a wonderful name for the glory, Lord, is yours. God forever, all the glory, Lord, is yours. And for the last time, our best worship. God forever and the light unto all will be your wonderful name for the glory Lord it is yours God forever all the glory Lord is yours God forever again, God forever, God forever, is the Lord as we give him all our praise all our glory all the glory that he deserves may we put it deep into our hearts that we're only here to worship him today that Lord I promise to be forever yours Lord that forever I will sing forever I will adore you forever I will glorify you Lord so we just worship him. Let's just invite his presence once again. All the glory, all the praise belongs to you. We worship you, God. Just sing your songs of praise, your songs of worship to the King. I give my all to you. Send me and I will go for you to the ends of the earth. I'll follow after you. I want the world to know your love endures forever. far greater than sacrifice trusting you and not myself will always lead to blessing lord have your way in me not my will yours be done here i stand within your presence longing for your time Days cannot compare to what 
people of God declaring it. I bow down. I bow down in worship. For oh, there's none like you. Hallelujah. I bow down in worship. In all of you. And I will never stop. Never stop. get tired of worshiping you no matter Lord what we are experiencing no matter oh God what we are going through no matter oh Lord the challenges that we are facing even at this very moment nothing can stop us Lord from worshiping you because indeed Lord it is a great privilege Hallelujah, that this very morning that we can just stand in your very presence. That this morning we can freely worship you. That this morning, Lord, we can experience your power and your presence in our midst. Oh God, oh how we long for you. How we want you, Lord, in our lives.
is a day of salvation. Today is a day of deliverance. Today is a day of redemption. Today, O oh Lord, is a day of miracle for your people. Hallelujah. To those who are expecting, hallelujah, from you today. Indeed, O oh Lord, our confidence is in you alone. And that once again, you will do great and mighty things, signs, wonders, and miracles. Once again, we'll be poor out upon our knees. Hallelujah. To reveal your power, to reveal your greatness, your faithfulness among your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we believe, we believe, we believe that it did, it shall come to pass right now. Hallelujah. And that's why, Father, as we are going to listen to thine word, Hallelujah to your very powerful word. Open up our spiritual understanding. Remove any hindrances upon us, O God. Let there be no distractions among us and even those who are worshiping with us by a live stream. That in the Lord, we will be able to capture, hallelujah, your word and let be a ram of word upon our hearts. You will make our hearts receptive, O Lord. And indeed, we declare the anointing of thine Holy Spirit to be upon us as we listen to your word. That we will not just, O Lord, hallelujah, be an ordinary hearer. Hallelujah, that as you have said in your word, listen and hear. Hallelujah, that we will listen to your mighty word, for your word is active and it is alive. And it is always true and amen. That's why, Father, I pray that allow your servant to continually be abased. Decrease me more and more so that you alone that shall be exalted and be lifted up upon my life. Allow me to remain faceless, O oh God, so that you alone will be seen upon my life and hide me under the power of your cross. And as I speak your words, allow me to deliver it not through the enticing words of men's wisdom, but only through the demonstrating power of your Holy Spirit. And today, Lord, we completely declare and claim, O oh Lord, the victory of this worship and healing service, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, do as you please. Among us. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and all the people of God will agree and say, Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. A very blessed good morning to all of us, and let us just remain standing as we give honor and reverence to the reading of His Word. Amen. And if we could just, ayan na po, nasa PowerPoint na po. Let us, if you have also your Bible, uh, just open it in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, as we are continually declaring this month persistent hope. Amen. The Bible declares, let us all read with understanding. One, two, three. Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 declares, never stop praying. Amen. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of His powerful word. We may now all be seated in the very presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. A very blessed good morning. Kung wala ho kayong katabi, can you just raise your hands para po pwedeng makaupo ang ating mga kapatid na nasa likod. Dito daw po. Sige ho, pakitaas. Sa harapan po, may dalawa pa po. Ayan po, as all our SOS and gatekeepers are helping all our brethren that have just arrived. Amen. A blessed good morning to all of us. Dito daw po, meron pa ho. Para aandar na patungong kay Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Can we give once again our God the best clap of praise for Jesus? Ay, parang hindi kayo excited kay Lord. For Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout praise the Lord? And can you please greet your seatmate? I'm blessed that you are here. Amen. Sige po, pakibate. Amen. And now say to the other one, you are blessed because I'm here. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. It's good to be back home again. Home is right here, sabi nga. Amen. Tagal din po ano na hindi po ako nakapag-share uh, in our morning service. But praise be to the Lord. Amen for all the 
Victorious, amen, na mission, uh, mga mission trip po na ginawa ng Panginoon sa lahat po ng ating mga churches, amen. And of course, uh, I am very much excited. Sana ho, uh, hindi lang ho akong excited na makita ang inyong mga naggagandahan at nagwagwa po ang mga mukha. Amen, praise the Lord. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, you look so beautiful, brothers or sisters. Amen. Siyempre pag ano daw, handsome. Amen. Sabi nga nila, smile. You look so beautiful. Amen. Indeed, your smile. Amen. Eh, sabi nga nila, eh, it brings sunshine. Di ba? But praise be to God. Amen. Dahil ngayong month po na ito, amen, we have been declaring persistent hope. Can we all say persistent hope? Amen. Persistent hope. And I believe last Sunday, Pastor Andy, you were able to share in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. Amen. Um, and also, last Sunday din ho, in ho ang sinare ko naman sa Edmonton, Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. At ang ngayon naman po, amen, allow me to share uh, the word of the Lord with you all today. Amen. As we have read in Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, and even in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17, and I entitled it, Keep Praying. Initially, amen, yung parang pelikula yan eh, yung unang title ko, Keep It Up. Sabi ko, nang nagmagawa na ako ng PowerPoint, ah, keep praying na lang. Amen. But uh, praise be to God, because in this month that we are declaring persistent hope, amen, of course, the reason why uh, we are declaring persistent hope is because that is a command of the Lord, for us to never give up, to never lose hope. Amen. Because we are not in the losing battle. Especially when you are with the Lord Jesus Christ, you are always on the winning side. Tell your seatmate you are on the winning side. Because Jesus is with you. Amen. Kaya kahit na ho, anong pinagdadaanan natin, all we need to do, amen, is to be persins, persistent, even to endure, amen, to make sure, amen, that we will reach the very end, amen, because that is the very command of the Lord. In the verse that we have read in Matthew chapter 7, amen, notice it, it is not an option when the Lord says, it is a very common verse, you probably have heard it in the old NIV version, amen, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, it just says in the NLT, it is keep on asking. But in the other translation, you probably have read it, it is always just ask and you shall receive, right? Uh, seek and you will find, knock and it, the door will be open unto you. But notice in there, either which translation, in the New Living Translation, in the NIV, in the New King James, in all translation, you will notice there that it is not a suggestion that the Lord is telling you that you should ask. Amen? That you should seek, that you should find. It is not one of those multiple choice. Amen? It is something that the Lord is encouraging us to do because, amen, we are... You know, we are gaining more when we do that. You are not losing anything when you keep asking, when you keep seeking, and when you keep knocking. And that's why, allow me, not my objective today, is that we will truly understand why did the Lord, that's why on my reflection question, when I was studying this, amen, you will notice in my reflection question that I asked the Lord, Lord, why, why, why did the Lord, amen, because you will notice in the book of Matthew chapter 7, beginning the Matthew chapter 5, that's when the Lord, amen, have his discourse. Uh, makikita nyo po when you are studying the Bible, ito ho yung tinatawag na Oliver's discourse, amen, uh, where Jesus uh, teaches from the book of Matthew chapter 5, beginning ng Beatitudes, hanggang sunod-sunod po yan. That's why you will notice all of the written words are in color red. Amen. If you will notice, if you will open up your Bible, because those are all the sermon of our Lord Jesus Christ, and those sermons, amen, were spoken by Jesus. Amen. Meaning, ito, itinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon, that is something that we need to do, not only in those times, but most especially even in our times right now. Why? Because in our times right now, life is even harder. Do you agree with me? Amen. Life is even harder. Yes, you have all the money, the technology, Amen. Even in Canada, kahit na po sabihin natin, this is the land that is flowing with milk and honey. Amen. You have a house. Amen. You can, uh, you can even have a car. Amen. No matter what is your, uh, your job or your career in here in this, in, in this country. And yet, even if you have everything, still life is hard. 
Life is hard. And that's why the Lord says, because it is hard, then we should never forget to keep asking. We should never forget to keep seeking. We should never forget to keep knocking. Kasi we ended up, we forget about the Lord. And who do we seek? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All the platforms in social media, we are so involved, amen, that we forget about the Lord. Well, we're us, the Lord is the one that is asking us to never stop praying. And He confirmed that, amen, Apostle Paul confirmed that when he wrote the letter in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, amen. In other translation, it says, never cease to pray, amen. In the New Living Translation, mas malinaw. Kasi yung cease, hahanapin mo. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng cease? Hindi ho yun yung cease na bukol. Amen? So, never stop praying. Kaya nang hinanap ko na lang, New Living Translation, it is easier to understand. Amen? When the Lord says unceasingly, to never stop praying. Pray unceasingly, without stopping. Meaning, it is continuous. Pag continuous, you don't even have a break. You never stop praying. When I was reading, uh, you know, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, it makes me wonder, what does the Lord mean? Never stop praying. Amen? Parang tayan, you never stop eating. Di ba? Kahit sabihin na bawal, may lechon pa rin. You never stop eating. Oh, may papaitan kahit na may gout ka. You never stop eating. Sasabihin mo, konti lang eh. Masarap. But you never stop. Right? We never stop. Marami tayong dahilan para kumain. Amen? Sabi nga nila yan, para-paraan lang yan. Kasi tapos sasabi mo, may gamot naman. But what about prayer? When the Lord says, never stop praying, Bakit hindi ito yung madaling ginagawa natin? We only pray when there is a need. Kaya si Jesus, ginagawa natin genie eh. Na, Lord, I need you today. Can you please come? Amen? Parang ina-activate mo lang siya when you need something. When the Lord says, you never stop praying. And that's why when I went back to this you know, common verse. Why is it common? Because everybody have memorized this. Amen? It is so common that sometimes we forget the deeper meaning why the Lord have declared it in His Word. Why is it written there? It has a purpose in our life and we need to understand why the Lord says to never stop praying and just keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Can you please tell your seatmate, keep praying? Keep <laughs> Not only in bad times, not only when you have a need. Because prayer is not just a litany of words. Prayer is not for wishes. Lalo na, Berna. Anong Christmas wish mo? Sa asawa mo na lang sabihin. Para alam niya kung anong ireregalo niya sa'yo sa Pasko. Ah, hindi pa ako tinatanong ni Pastor Andy, anong kayang ireregalo niya sa akin? Kailangan ko nang gumawang listahan. Berna, andyan na si Wipsay Marichan eh. Buhay na buhay. Amen. But going back to this verse, amen, sometimes we stop praying. Why? Because we thought that if we ask, if we keep praying, if we ask over and over again, we thought that we are lacking faith. Misan yun yung conclusion natin eh. Is that, what it, is that what it means? Does the word of the Lord contradict itself? No. Amen? So when you keep on praying, amen, it doesn't mean that you do not lack faith. The Bible declares in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 to 9, it just simply means, amen, that when we pray, we don't know how God intends to answer our prayers. That's why the Bible declares, in 55 verse 8 of the book of Isaiah, and he said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Who declares? 
the Lord. And in verse 9, that's why the Lord says, And as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen? And that's why it is not just lack of faith. We, we just do not know the reason why we keep on praying because we do not know how God intends on how to answer our prayers. It also does not mean that God is tiring you to pray. Nakakapagod. Sino ho'y napapagod manalangin? Eh, bakit pag Facebook, eh, hindi mo napapansin, isang oras ka ng swipe na swipe, ano? Pero pag prayer, think ka na, ay, ang haba na pala, nakaka minutes ako. Haba! Kakarelate tayo, no? Amen? We, we become so bored in praying. Maybe because we have the wrong mindset and the wrong motive when we pray. That's why we do not understand. Because we just, when we look at this prayer in Matthew, or this command in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, ang tinitignan lang natin, amen, instead of the keep asking, anong hina-highlight mo? And you will receive what you ask. Right? What is highlighted and what remains in our heart in a, and in our mind is that you will receive. Kaya ngayon, kapag si Lord, hindi pa binibigay ang answer, ano ba naman yan? Ang tagal ni Lord. That's why we never find, amen, the best, the best answer. We never receive the best answer from the Lord because we never keep on asking. And we just thought like, oh, one prayer is good enough. Amen. Ako, naririnig niyo po, I always testify that I prayed for my parents for 20 years, before every day, amen, every day yan alam ng Lord that I prayed for 20 years. Does that mean I lacked faith when I was keep praying? No. But did it happen on the 20th year? Yes. What happened if I stop? Amen? Eh di hindi, ni, ni, kung... Hanggang ngayon taon na ito, hindi ko nakakilala ang aking magulang, di mas malungkot ho ako sana. Amen. But praise be to God, the reason why, amen, I have now the confidence in the Lord that I will see my father once again is that because I know for the last four years, he came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why you never stop praying. Amen. When we keep praying, when we keep asking, when we keep seeking, and when we keep finding, today, ilang ko ang points ko. Amen. Because there is something that God wanted us to know from Him and learn from Him. On my first point where the Lord says, keep asking. Amen. On the next slide. As we know, this is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Now notice when the Lord says, keep asking, those three, asking, seeking, and knocking, you will notice that all of those verbs are all active verbs. When it was written in the NIV version and not in the New Living Translation, amen, if you will notice, it is a continuous present tense. Hindi siya past tense when the Lord says, ask with an ed. You ask and then that's it. It is a continuous present tense, meaning it is an active action. That's why, amen, the Lord says, that's why when, when the New Living Translation wrote it, they just made it clear. But in Matthew 7:7 7, 7 in the NIV version and other translation, because it was written for us to understand that you do not stop in one prayer. That you are done, that's it. Amen. Remember when Daniel, amen, in the book of Daniel, prayed to the Lord and Gabriel, the angel Gabriel came down. He told Daniel, Daniel, as soon as you prayed, the Lord already released the answer to your prayer. But there is a battle in heaven. The devil tried to stop for you to receive. The answer, and that's why Gabriel and other angels started fighting in the spiritual realm so that Daniel can receive the prayer. How many days it took? 21 days. That's why it was really good that Daniel kept on praying. 
Amen? That's why we really need to make sure that when we are praying, we just need to keep doing it. We need to be persistent in our prayers and in our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ because God heard our prayer. The directive that Jesus gave us in this verse, amen, is actually, it's more of a soul-stretching command for us. That each verb, the ask, the, the, the sick, and the find, amen, are all just, you know, things that the Lord is wanting us to truly understand what each verbs mean to us. And I believe the emphasis that the Lord wanted us to understand is that while we ask, while we seek, while we knock, what kind of a person we become while we are doing that. The focus is not more on your prayer list. But the focus is, you know, who we become as a person. Amen. And what God intends to do in our lives. Because as we all know, His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And now, amen, but when we keep asking, we learn something. I have written in there, amen, that when we keep asking, as we, we have heard this a lot of times, prayer changes things. Iho ba? May mga book pa yan, may mga naririnig tayo, mga blogs, mga devotional. And it is true, prayer changes things. But not only a thing, prayer changes us. And that is what the Lord is saying when we keep asking. When we keep asking, amen, we learn. One thing that I've learned, that when you keep asking, because you, you are not doing a repetitive words. Remember, the way we pray to the Lord is much more personal. Hindi siya yung litany of prayers. You pray, katulad ba ikaw pag nakikipag-usap ka sa asawa mo, uh, same-same words ba ang pakikipag-usap mo? Tiba it is different. Right? So, ganun din kay Lord. When we talk and communicate with our Lord Jesus Christ and you keep asking, it becomes, you know, a much more personal communication with Him. And then while you are asking, things change in your heart and you have learned to ask the right thing. What does the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 2 to 3? In James chapter 4, 2 to 3, amen, the Bible says, you want something, but don't get it. You kill and covet, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. Amen in the next verse. And when you ask, see, the Lord says, and when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with, with what? At ang sabi, with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. So sometimes, not all things that we ask are right and it is good for us. It's not that the Lord doesn't want to answer our prayers, but it's just not good for us. But when you keep asking and then you realize, maybe there's something wrong with my prayer. And that is when we are sensitive, when we, when we communicate to the Lord. Amen? And that's why one thing I've learned that the Lord is teaching us, the thing that God wanted us to know when we keep asking, amen, is that we learn not to ask for our fleshly desires, which is most of the time, pansinin mo yung prayer list mo. It is for your own. Amen? Did that, what you are asking today, does it give glory to God? Does it honor Him? Ikaw lang ba ang makakabuti pero makakasama sa iba? Amen? And the problem when we ask, we never ask for His God, you know, for godly desires. Hindi natin tinatanong ang Lord na, Lord, ano bang gusto mo? Ang tanong, lagi lang natin sinasabi kay Lord, Lord, ito ang gusto ko. We ask Him, Lord, give it to me because this is what I want. We've never asked the Lord. When we ask Him, we never ask Him, Lord, what do you want me to do? What is your godly desires for me? 
We always want our fleshly desires when we ask. But when we keep asking, and we get to know the Lord more, and you continue to walk with God, and you read His Word, then slowly you will realize, amen, you will realize that there's something wrong with your prayer, there's something wrong with what you ask. And now, you pray now like Jesus. Paano mo na ngayon nananalangin, Lord, katulad ni Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Amen? He prayed, Lord, let this cup be taken away from me. In yung ask niya. But, he never said it, that's it. That's my demand. But what did Jesus says? He says, but not my will, but let your will be done. Amen. You know, a lot of us, and dami natin, nung nag-aaral ka, dami mong gusto, when you were in the Philippines, there are so many things that you wanted, you desire in your life. Amen. And we, we and then when once you have, once you came here to Canada, dami mo ng fleshly desires. Nakalimutan mo na yung pinag-pray mo na, Lord, pag nakarating ako ng Canada, magsaserve ako. Lord, pagdating ko ng Canada, hahanapin ko ang gawain mo. Magba-Bible study ako. Siyempre, nag-iisa ka pala noon. So, Siyempre, dahil nag-iisa ka pa lang nung dumating sa Canada. Amen. Mainit ka pa kay Lord. Habang tumatagal ng lamig. Kasi winter na. Kaso hindi ka lang pala gininaw. But even your spiritual condition, amen, is already cold. Amen. And then you ended up, you keep working and working because now you need to work and you said, kasi darating na pamilya ko. Na iba na lahat. Iba na ngayon ang hinihingi mo kay Lord. Lord, I need more work. Para lang yan yung mga kabataan. When they started yan, sabi nila, Lord, magsaserve ako pag nakapagtapos ako ng pag-aaral. Nung nakapagtapos na ng pag-aaral, Lord, pwede bang mag-asawa muna ako? Nung nakapag-asawa na, Lord, pwede ba muna magkaanak ako? Nung nagkaanak na, Eh, dito sa Canada, tumatanda bago makapag-asawa, no? Tsaka tumatanda din bago mag-anak. Bakit kaya? Malamig naman. <laughs> Laho akong pinatatamaan, ha? <laughs> And then ngayon na nag-aanak ka na, Lord, pwede bang lumaki muna yung mga anak ko at makapagtapos ng pag-aaral? Eh, ngayon na nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral na anak mo, sabi mo na ngayon kay Lord, Lord, matanda na ako. <laughs> Kailan ka ngayon nagka-chance? Wala na. Amen? Kaya nga yung awit na sinulat ni Pastor Joey, Ikaw ang yamang hinahangat, ang pangarap na sa sapat, Panginoon. Panginoong Jesus, higit sa yaman ng mundo, higit sa luho at kinang nito, ikaw ang nais ko, ang tanging nais ko, ikaw ang yaman ko, Panginoon. Hindi ba masarap na hilingin sa Lord? Lord, I want you. Lord, I need you. Hindi ba humas masarap that we keep asking, Lord, more of you in my life. Lord, I want more of your presence. Hindi yaman dito sa mundong ito ang kailangan ko. Hindi ang luho. hindi ang mga bagay sa paligid. But it's you. I pray that today, maybe the Lord is speaking into your heart. 
you haven't prayed that kind of prayer, you haven't asked the Lord for a long time, I want you just to close your eyes. I, I just sense the Holy Spirit is touching someone right now. And you just want to ask the Lord now for his presence. And just to tell him, Lord, I need you. I want you. And I will keep asking every day of my life. I will never stop praying for more of you in my life. I will never stop, Lord, to ask for more of you in my life. Thank you, Lord. Sige po, palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. And when we learn to ask the right thing in our prayer, when you go to keep seeking, can we all say keep seeking? See, the Lord clearly says in his word in Jeremiah 29 verse 12. Amen. The Lord says, when you seek me, amen, in the NLT, uh, or verse 13, Jeremiah 29 verse 13. Yeah. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Amen. The Lord says, if you look for me, if you seek me in other translation, maybe in the NIV, if you seek me and find me, when you seek me with all, with all, whose heart is that? Right? Sabi ng Lord, the Lord is not playing hide and seek. He just simply say, hindi ako nagtatago anak, yung nga lang hindi mo ako hinahanap. Amen. You never find time to look for me. You never find time to seek me. Sabi ko nga, buti pa si Aurora. You are chasing Aurora and looking for her at the middle of the night. At the middle of the night. Have you looked? Seek God? Nanagising ka ng 1 a.m. Lord, can I... Have a one-on-one -on -one with you and a face-to-face -face with you because it's so quiet. Amen? Sabi ko nga, nakakaingit si Aurora eh. Nagdadrive ka pa sa malayo eh. Kasi masyado malinaw sa Calgary. Pupunta ka pa sa madilim na lugar. Saan yung crossfield ba yun? Yung dinadrive-an nyo? Aminin nyo na na, kayo yun. Kasi pinopost nyo eh. <laughs> Yan tayo eh. Masaya naman. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. Because those are God's creation anyway. But I pray that when you seek the aurora, you seek more of God when you see the aurora. Why? Because you are amazed with what God has done. How creative is the Lord. Amen. Can you just imagine the colors that God creates for you to enjoy, for us to enjoy? But when you see that, did we ever say, Lord, thank you for these wonderful creations? Amen. You know, when the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 12, uh, chapter 29, verse 12, when you seek me, you will find me. When you seek me with all your heart. You know, when we started, first we keep asking. But the next thing that we need to do is to seek. And when you seek, remember, that is one step above asking. That's why the Lord started with asking. Because seeking is one step up. Amen. That's why you should never settle on just asking. And after you ask, you do something. That's why this next level, amen, of inquiry with the Lord, of keep seeking, is really an action now. Kanina, nagtatanong ka lang. Now you are doing something. That's why it is a next step up. You are now seeking whom you are looking for. Kasi baka mamaya sinasabi mo, I need you more, Lord. I want more of your presence. But you are not doing anything. I want you, Lord, pero natutulog ka. Sasabi mo, nag-online ka. Nag-online ka nga, binuksan mo ang computer, pero tinulugan mo. Hindi ko pinatatamaan ng mga nag-online ngayon. Amen? But let us be real. Lahat naman ho tayo nakaranas nung ganun, eh. di ko ba? Especially during COVID. But that's why the Lord is telling us, Amen, that when we go about finding his presence, finding Him, amen, it is not just now knowing His name, but it is now having 
a deeper relationship with God. And that's why after you keep asking, now the Lord, amen, is allowing you to see Him, to find Him. Amen. And now what you will experience and what you will learn when you keep seeking Him is that you will get draw closer to Him and will be intimate. Your personal relationship with the Lord, amen, is deeper than yesterday. And that's how it's supposed to be. Ang ating hong relasyon sa Panginoon, amen, it should not be decreasing. Our relationship with the Lord should be getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Increasing level up ka dapat. Amen? Hindi yung kapag kaya pag may problema ka na, doon mo lang naaalala si Lord, doon mo lang hahanapin na Lord, natutulog ba ang Diyos? Kasi hindi mo makita dahil hindi mo alam paano hanapin. And then you ask, tunay ba na may Diyos? Eh inaawit nga natin, ikaw ang Diyos na sumasagot, dumidinig ng panalangin, bawat ay iyong Sipi mo, pati hikbi mo, batid ng Lord. And it is written in the Bible, right in the book of Psalms. Sabi ng Lord, He keeps your tears in a bottle. Amen? But you will never know that if you do not have a deeper relationship with God. You will only seek God when you truly, amen, started to be passionate for Him. Katulad nung passionate ka bilang Aurora Chaser, then why not be a God Chaser? Amen? Why not chase after God? We keep chasing so many things in this world. We keep, you know, pursuing things in this world. But when you pray, and after you keep asking the Lord about His presence, about wanting to know Him more, then... I believe when the Lord says, keep seeking, you do something about it. You just don't sit and do nothing, but you act on your faith that you will find Him. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. And my last, I'm almost done, is keep knocking. Can we all say keep knocking? Again, three steps to it, Right? The first step is you keep asking. The second step, amen, is you keep seeking. Because it is a step, it is a level up. Now, knocking is again one level up higher from seeking. Why? Because this time, when you are knocking, you are now persisting. You are now persisting in finding that which you are seeking. This is now... Asking plus the action of seeking, now plus persevering. This is where you never stop. Amen? This is now where you never stop. And when you never stop, the reason why you never stop is because, amen, you now truly know who God is. When you keep knocking, now you learn to trust in Him. Can we all say trust in Him? And when you trust in Him, you also started to depend on God. And when you depend on God, amen, ano ba yung mga bagay na kinakatok mo sa Panginoon? Remember, our God is a faithful God. Do you agree with me? And Psalms 145 verse 13b, amen, declares in His Word, amen, that the Lord is trustworthy in all He promises, and faithful in all He does. Amen? So you just do not seek Him, but you knock. And remember, pag kumakatok ka, anong nangyayari pag kumakatok ka? Kunwari, kumatok ka. Ang uh, mga anak, kumatok sa kwarto ng nanay nila, ng tatay nila, sa bahay nyo, kumatok. Anong ginagawa nyo? Pag may naririnig kayong kumakatok, hindi nyo naman sarado na nga eh. So hindi mo na po pwedeng close-close. So anong gagawin? you open. You know, one thing that I've learned, when you knock, and because the door is open, what does it signifies and symbolize? Kasi bukas na. 
When you keep on knocking, first you are just asking, and then you keep seeking, and now you are knocking. Something happened when you knock. And that's why when you are persisting now to the knocking, to the third step, something happened. Amen? Something happened that God is now revealing that He's saying, Anak, hindi lang kita narinig. Amen? At hindi lang ako magpapakita sa'yo. Ngayon, bubuksan ko na ang pinto. Now, there is nothing that hinders. There is nothing. There is no wall. Nothing hinders between you and me. Hindi ba pa nagbubukas ng pinto? Ano nangyayaring nararanasan mo? Meron ka ng face-to-face, diba? Amen? Somehow you are now face to face to a person who opens the door. And what do you think is happening when you are knocking before the Lord? Isn't it that you will now experience a face to face encounter with the Lord? Now why does not everyone experience a face to face encounter with Jesus? Because you stop at asking. You never seek. And because you never seek, of course, you will never experience the knocking. And the door will never be open. And remember, it is not only us who is knocking. It is also the Lord. Revelations chapter 3 verse 7, verse 7 says, Amen. And He says, Amen. What the Lord opens, no one can shut. So when He opens the door for you, and you have a face-to-face encounter, no one can shut. Amen? I believe an open door truly symbolizes that now, when you keep persevering before the Lord, you are now saying to Jesus, Lord, here am I. Come and share my life. I am sharing my life with you. Kaya ho tayo, minsan ayaw natin doon sa keep knocking. Amen. Kasi nga, we are not willing to share our life with Jesus. Because it is now an open door. That means nothing stopping you. There is no wall. There is no hindrance for the face-to-face encounter. Because the next thing that should happen is that now, Lord, I surrender my life. I share my life with you. It's now you and me. You give your all. You give your all. Amen. Revelations chapter 3, verse 20, actually the Lord says, I stand at the door and knock. Amen. See, here the Lord Jesus is also saying unto us, Here I am! I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Amen? Pero hindi ba maganda, hindi lamang ang Diyos ang kumakatok sa puso natin, tayo rin kumakatok sa puso ng Panginoon? Amen? And that we can say to Jesus, Lord, allow me to come in. I want to be united with you. I want to know you more. I want to be with you and you with me. Amen. This is now really being intimate. Passionately in love with Jesus that you will never allow a day without knocking. You do not do asking today, tomorrow seeking Maybe when you remember knocking. No, that's not how it is. Persistent hope is you ask, you seek, and you knock. You keep going up as you are praying. You wanted to have a personal encounter with the Lord? Then that's what we need. Why not everyone experience it? Because you easily give up just on the asking. You easily give up. Maybe you were able to step on the other step of seeking, but then you said, ang hirap pala, you give up. But if you will just keep going, if you will just keep pursuing Jesus, then for sure, you will have an encounter with the Lord. Amen?
Let us give our God the best clap of praise. Hallelujah! Kailan ba natin sinabi sa Panginoon na, Lord, come and share your life with me. Kailan ba natin sinabi sa Panginoon na, Lord, here I am. Alam niyo ho yung ating song of the season na I'm forever yours, Luma, na ho, yun eh. Amen? I can't remember anong year yon. 2008? Nine? But because the lyrics of the song is very timely right now, sabi ho ng song, I give my all to you. Minsan buti pa ho ang song eh, no? Nakakanta natin, pero ginagawa lang natin siyang lyrics. Amen? It becomes a lyrics. That's why the Bible declares, Amen? Your heart is far from me. You worship me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Kasi we sing, but it is not from the heart when we say, I give my all to you. Send me and I will go for you to the ends of the earth. I'll follow after you. I want the world to know your love endures forever. And then in second verse, Abhi Padon, Tell me and I'll obey. Gande, this is far greater than sacrifice. Trusting you and not myself will always lead to blessing. Lord, have your way in me. Not my will, yours be done. Here I stand within your presence, longing for. You know, that's all. It embodies the keep asking, the keep seeking, and the keep knocking. Because in the end, you will say to Jesus, when you have a face-to-face -face encounter with the Lord, when He opens the door and you open the doors for Him, and you will say, My Jesus, my precious Savior, I'm forever yours. Today, as I conclude, I pray that we will continue to persevere. We will continue to persist because it is a novel virtue. Especially in regards to prayer. Remember, we have a father who is not untouched by your persistent pleas because we are his children. If we desire to receive, find, and have doors open to us, then let us keep on asking. Let us keep on seeking. Let us keep on knocking, not only in regards to prayers, but in every areas of our life. You just pursue Jesus more and more each day. I do not know the very condition of your heart. I do not know when you pray earlier how much you needed the Lord. I do not know how much you are yearning for Him. But today, I want you just to bow down your heads. And I just want you to close your eyes and just tell Jesus how precious He is in your life. Is He not only your Savior, your precious Savior, but is He the master of your life? How much are you yearning for Him every day? How much do you desire the Lord in your life? 
How much? How many times have you called to Jesus? The Lord said in His Word, wala ho siyang anak na ipinahiya na tumawag sa Kanya. The Lord says, I will never put to shame anyone who calls on my name. But when was the last time you asked for Him? And you call out His name. When was the last time that you seek Him with all your heart? When was the last time that you keep knocking and you never stop until the Lord reveal His face unto you? And you have a face-to-face encounter. You do not need to be on the Encounter God retreat. We do not need to be in a conference. We do not need... We are just so blessed that Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva was here last week. But we can have a personal encounter with the Lord even in the comfort of your home, even when you are inside your car, even when you are just inside your room, even when you are in the kitchen, and most especially when you are here in His temple where this is His dwelling place. The Lord is just waiting for you to keep on asking, to keep on seeking, and to keep on knocking. I need you Yes, Lord More than yesterday I just want you to to feel His presence as the music right now Let it stir up your heart And just tell Jesus wherever you are Than ever before I need you, Lord Yes, just open your heart before the Lord This is a simple song, just telling Jesus, Oh God, I need you. More than yesterday, I need you more. Oh God, more than words. More than words can say, I need you more. Than ever before. And if this is your cry this morning, and you are Jesus in your life I want you to arise before the Lord as you sing it and let this be not just a lyrics of the song but the cry of your heart yearning for him yes telling him the never before I need you Oh, my. 
kahit hindi mo pa hinihiling, binibigay niya na po. Today, I do not know what else you need in your life. Maybe some of you, the Lord is healing you emotionally. I just sent someone's here needs an emotional healing. There's so much pain in your heart. There's loneliness. You've been discouraged. There was even some point in time in your life that you even thought about suicide. There was suicidal thoughts in your life. You are desperate looking for the meaning of life. Today, the Lord is here for you. And He wants to heal you emotionally. All you need to do is ask, sick, Because He wants to heal you. Emotional pain is not easy. There are no medicines that this world can give. But only God can heal you. And today, all those pains, you can just surrender it all to the Lord. All those discouragements. All those sadness, those loneliness, feeling alone by yourself, and you thought no one understand you. Remember, God is here with you today. All your struggles, all your pain, God wants to heal you. Maybe some of you here, I do not know how long have you been praying and you thought it is already an unanswered prayer. Remember, even prayers that you have forgotten, the Lord still remembers it. And so today, I want you to pray. If there's one miracle that you wanted the Lord Jesus to do in your life, if there is one long-standing prayer that you have, The Bible declares in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, anyway, that when you pray, believe that you have received it. So I want you to live up to the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Remember, the Father is willing. He will not withhold any good gift unto you. To those who walk uprightly for Him, there is nothing that He will withheld for you. Every good and perfect gift from above, from heaven, is available to you. You just need to persist. Yes, just lift it up. Maybe some of you need physical healing right now. And just believe right now. And just touch any part of your body. Hallelujah. And allow God to use your hands as you are touching it as an extension of His hands. And the Lord is releasing His mighty, divine healing power over you. Even those who are watching and worshiping with us via live stream, I want you to believe for the miraculous healing touch of the Lord right now for you in the name of Jesus. Ura la 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 bashika shanda la la kiara la 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 bashika. Yes, ura la la bashika shanda la la kiara la 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 bashika. Yes, remember the Lord has opened already the door for you, the door for healing. Hallelujah, when He can release it upon you, the Lord has opened the door. Hallelujah, even to release His mighty blessings and even to release His mighty favor upon you. Ura la la bashika shanda la la kiara la 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 bashika. Even those right now who are struggling in their business, I do not know who it is. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, but the Lord is also declaring His power upon you. The Lord has the power and the ability to produce wealth for you, to revive your business. So as you put the Lord as priority in your life, in your family, and allow God, hallelujah, to take charge even for your business. Believe, believe for your miracle. God can revive your businesses once again. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Ora la la bashika shanta la la kira la 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 bashika. Oh, hallelujah! Some of you are praying for your reunification, for your family, for your loved ones, for your papers. Hallelujah! Right now, I want you to believe that God is already doing something. As you are, hallelujah, persistently putting your hope and your trust in the Lord Jesus. God is making a way. God is doing something. Ah, oh, hallelujah, believe, 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 believe. Oh, la 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 ba shika shanta la la kia. Some of you are praying for your children and even for your grandchildren. Hallelujah. Remember, we are declaring family revival, salvation in our family. And so whoever it is right now that you wanted for them, hallelujah, to come to know the Lord, for the Lord to touch their heart. Remember, wala hong matigas na puso sa mainit na pagkilos ng ating panal na espiritu at sa iyong mainit na pananampalataya sa Panginoon. I want you to believe and utter the names of your loved ones that you wanted to come to know the Lord. Oh, just declare their names. Declare their names. Even right now, oh la 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 bashika. Remember the door is now already open, and what God has opened, no one can shut. Oh la 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 bashika, shut la 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 kia la 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 bashika. Lord, we are claiming and declaring salvation in our family, salvation for our loved ones. Oh God, Hallelujah, that they will come to know You, and we even declare Joshua 24:15. That as for me and my household, Lord, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah! Ura la la bashika shanda la la kia. God cannot move when there is a doubt. God cannot move if you are not believing that God can make a miracle. Remember, the Lord says, "It is your faith that has healed you. It is your faith and belief. The problem is not with God. For Him to do mighty works and miracles upon your life, but God, we will never allow. Hallelujah! A person to receive without believing." So believe, believe for your miracles. Maybe some of you, I do not know, napalayo ka sa Panginoon and you do not know where to start. Kapatid, kung ikaw yan, do not complicate it. Just simply come back to the Lord. There is someone even watching in the live stream right now Maybe you're wondering, you've been longing, but you just don't know where to start. I just invite you just to come. Just simply come. And allow God just to move mightily in your life as you declare His power over your life. You're being touched by God. You're being refreshed by the Lord. And I want you to start thanking the Lord right now. Oh God, hallelujah, is opening the floodgates of heaven right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, 
your spouse, I want you just to hold your hands or with your family. I just want you to hold your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are holding your hands. Hallelujah. I do not know when was the last time as a family you worship the Lord and just hold your hands. Hallelujah. I just want you right now before I'll pray for you as a family. I just want you to hold your hand and just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, oh God. Here I stand. Yes, Lord. As a family, we are standing before you. Oh God. A thousand days can
kayaman at nais mong maranasan ang lahat ng iyong mga anak. Kaya po, Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat sa buhay ng bawat pamilya na narinito. And I know and I believe, Lord, hallelujah, victory is ours. Victory is ours. Miracles is ours. Breakthrough is upon our life. In the name of Jesus, I want you to start thanking the Lord. Sige po, gusto kong ibalik mo sa Panginoon sa oras na ito, ang lahat ng papuri, ang lahat ng pasasalamat. Oh, just open your mouth and thank Him as you play. Hallelujah! Your answer prayer for your family. for our Lord's Supper in our Holy Communion service today. This is something that we do once a month. Amen. And uh, may we call on our gatekeepers and our SOS. Hallelujah. This is one of the ordinances that the Lord has given us. Amen. That He has said in His Word that we need to remember. Amen. That as a believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, God is reminding us to never forget what He has done on the cross for each and every one of us. That's why as a church, as one body in the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, we are doing it here together as one family in the church to proclaim the goodness, the faithfulness of our Lord Jesus Christ and declare that the Lord will come again for each and every one of us. Amen. And that's why let us just stretch forth our hands towards all the elements. Father in heaven, we thank you for all the elements that has been prepared for us. Lord, these elements represent, hallelujah, your broken body. Your, your son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for us. You said in thy word, without, oh Lord, hallelujah, without, oh Lord, even the shedding of the blood. There will be no remissions of sins. That's why the Jews represent, O oh Lord, the blood of Jesus. So that we may be forgiven, and not only forgiven, but even be cleansed and be purified from all our unrighteousness. That's why, Lord, today, these elements, O oh Lord, hallelujah, that we will partake, sanctify it, O oh Lord, because these are your precious body, and your precious blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary for all of us. Because of your great love unto us, your love for each and every one of us is greater than our sins. And that's why, Lord, we want to participate in this Lord's Supper to honor you in our life. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us distribute all the elements.
that signifies the broken body of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, For I received from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us all partake of the bread. Let us lift up the fruit of the vine that represents the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said in verse 25 of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, in the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is my new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat the bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us all partake of the fruit of the vine. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you that at the cross you have conquered death. Father, we thank you that at the cross you have conquered every sickness and disease. And that by your stripes, we are healed. We are healed physically. We are healed mentally. We are healed emotionally. We are even healed financially. You are even healing every broken relationship in every family. You are doing great and mighty things for us. That's why, Father, we thank you that we are all recipients of the benefits of the cross. Father, we honor you. We bless you. And all the people of God will agree and say, Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Amen. A victory clap of praise unto our Lord today for everything we've received. All we can say is, Blessed be your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands for the Lord today as we give Him the victory. Amen. Oh, blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where the streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. And every blessing, every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in dark, still I will say, of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, oh blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glory. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. And though there's pain, our response is to bless his name. Oh, every blessing. Every blessing you pour out, I'll, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness, when the darkness goes and still I will say, as we shout it out, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glory, oh blessed be. people of God sing blessed be. We thank you Jesus. Blessed be your name. 
name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glory. And all the women of God, can you sing? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I hear all the men of God can they sing blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your name blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your glory for the last song we shout it out blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your name blessed be the name Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Napakaganda po ng ating pong na-receive na mensahe po mula sa ating Panginoon through the life of our dear Pastor Ana. Sabi po niya doon, keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. And allow me po to add uh, number four po. Ano po yung number four? Because it's our worship giving, let us keep. Amen. Parang hina po. Number four po is keep. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dahil po ang sabi po niya doon sa Let us open our Bible po kung si Pastora Ana may may reflection question meron din po tayo. Why do we need to give our tithes and offering to the Lord? Kaya po let us open our Bible in the book of Proverbs 3 verse 9 in the NLT version sabi po niya doon Pwede po paki-flash. Sabi po niya doon Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. And jump po tayo sa 2 Corinthians 8 verse 7 in the NLT version. Um, pwede pong paki-flash po. Sabi po niya doon sa 8 verse 7. Since you excel in so many ways in your faith, your gifted speakers, your knowledge, your enthusiasm, and your love from us, I want you to excel also in this grace, gracious act of giving. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, sabi po dun sa dalawang verses po na narinig po natin, there are, there are two things po that I want to share with you this morning. Amen. Number one po, sabi po doon, that giving our tithes and offering is a command from the Lord. Amen. So, biblical po siya. Wala po tayong excuse. It's not an option po because it is a command from the Lord. And number two po is to honor our Lord. Amen. Minsan po, no, yung mga simpleng bagay like this, uh, direct command po ng Panginoon, we make it complicated. Bakit po kaya? Pagdating po, alam ko po, pagdating po sa money matters, there are a lot of questions po. Pero uh, these questions, let us just go back po to number one and number two ng, ng points po ni Pastor. Let us keep asking the Lord, let us keep seeking the Lord, and the Lord will reveal Himself to all of us. Amen? Especially po in the area of our finances. Dahil alam po natin, alam ko po, no, um, our recent um, uh, anniversary, our, declar our declaration po is, ano po yun? Ano po ulit? Konti lang po yatang nakakaalala. Tremendous outpouring po. Amen. Kaya paano po tayo magbibigay sa ating Panginoon? I only have two things again. Number one po is discipline. Let us teach ourselves po. Hindi po si kapitbahay, hindi po si sino po, pero it is between you the Lord, bit, between you and the Lord. So let us take a stand po and discipline ourselves and teach ourselves to obey the Lord. And number two po is to decide, decision. Let us decide po, kailan po, bukas, next year, five years from now. Ano po yun, Mami Ellen? Now po, let us decide now to honor our Lord, Amen, through our excellence in giving our tithes and offering, Amen. Kaya po, are we ready? Do we have our blue and white envelope? If we are all ready, let us lift it up and thank the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to honor you and thank you, O God, for this very opportunity that you have given to all of us, O God, to honor you through our tithes and offering, O God. Lord, you know the faith of each person that is here today, O God, and even every family that is being represented in this church, O God. Lord, and dalangin po namin, O God, honor our faith, O God. And Lord, tunay nga, O God, that you are the source of everything, O God. You are the creator of heaven and earth, even, O Lord, in the areas of our finances and even in in the area of our material things, O God. Kaya maraming maraming salamat, O God. Lord, ang dalangin po namin, Lord, pagpalain mo, Lord, lahat ng uh, ikaw po na ito, Lord, that it will only use for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth, O God. The Lord, as well, bless each family, O God, that truly, Lord, we will not only see, but we will experience, O God, that your promise of tremendous outpouring as we continually and faithfully give unto you, O God, kung ano po yung nararapat sa inyo, O God. Lord, maraming maraming salamat, O God, and even bless the finance team, O God, who will Handle all these blessings, O God. Let the joy of the Lord continually to be their strength, O God. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. for our worship and healing services. There will be two services at 10 a.m. and at 4 p.m. We will be live on our Facebook page every Sunday at 10 a.m. Our night of power is every Friday at 7 p.m. Keep up with us by following our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages. In line with our mission to bring all peoples to the kingdom of the living God, let us not give up in doing what God has called us to fulfill. Be our partner in reaching souls for Christ. We now have Bible studies in Cochrane, Medicine Hat, Canmore, Banff, and Airdrie. If you have a friend or a family member in these areas, please do not hesitate to contact us and we will reach out to them. Couples Gathering with Wind Ministry is on September 24 from 2 to 5 p.m. We will be hosting our I Care Bottle Drive on September 24 from 9 a.m. till 12 noon. Drop off your bottles here at church at 1227 40 Avenue Northeast. Join us for our worship night on September 30th. And a gentle reminder for if you have any lost or misplaced items, please check with the gatekeepers for the lost and found. Any items that are not claimed by the end of the month will be donated to our eye care ministry. Welcome to our first timers. We're glad you're here. Thank you, and see you next Sunday. God, God bless. bless. Amen. Let us all arise once again as we give all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor to no other name but the name of Jesus alone. Hallelujah. No other name but the name of Jesus. No other name but the
of Jesus in this place. Let us give God the best love of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah indeed, Lord. Not unto us, O oh God. Not unto us. But to you be all the glory, honor, and praise in this place. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you so much once again for letting us experience your overwhelming power, your overwhelming presence upon this place, oh God. Lord, thank you that indeed, oh God, you are so faithful that in spite and despite of the busyness of this world, Lord, teach us to cling unto you. Teach us to yearn more of you, oh God. Teach us to seek you more. Teach us to ask more of you. Teach us to knock until we are changed, oh God. Lord, give us a heart that is always receptive unto you, O oh God, that whenever you call us, Lord, we are here. We are always present, O oh God. Lord, make us to be a God chaser, not a world chaser, O oh God. And Lord, we thank you so much for the word that we have learned today, O oh God. Lord, I pray that you will continue to help us, O oh God, that we may leave this wor word that we have learned to you, O oh God. And we apply it in our daily lives, oh God, for your glory alone in the mighty name of Jesus. And even right now, oh Lord, we thank you for the life of thy servant whom you've used today in the life of our beloved Pastora Anna Anada. Lord, indeed, she is such a blessing unto us. Lord, we pray that you will continue to replenish all the energy, the strength that she has lost, Lord, in preparing your word to teach to us today, O oh God. Lord, I speak blessing upon blessing to the entire Anada family, O oh God, including Pastor Andy, Ethan, and Abby. Lord, keep this family in your righteous right hand. Lord, continue to uphold this family, O oh God. Indeed, Lord, you are such a blessing. And Lord, let your full package of provisions, favor, and blessing be always in every aspect of their lives, O oh God, especially, Lord, to our pastor, Pastor Anna and Pastor Andy, as you use them, Lord, continue to guide them. Let your Solomonic wisdom be always upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. And even, Lord, we thank you for the life of our WCO pastor and the life of Pastor Amor Adela and Pastor Rani Adela and their children, O oh God. Lord, I pray for this family that let your cords of love that cannot be broken unfold this family, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak blessing upon blessing, O oh God. Your guidance and protection will always up upon them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And even, Lord, we pray for the life of the first Villanueva family, Lord, J.A.L. First family, in the life of our congressman, Brother Eddie Villanueva, to the Tugnes and the Vinalias, O oh God. Lord, I pray especially to the life of Brother Eddie Villanueva, that your holistic healing flow upon his life, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the hedges of protection be always upon him, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak blessing upon blessing, anointing upon anointing, O oh God, over his life as he continually speaks the truth of your word, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And even, Lord, let you be his strength in the Congress, O oh God, that it he will lead the people to know more of you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And even, Lord, as we continue to stretch out our hands in this prayer box, O oh God, Lord, I declare Isaiah 65, 24, that before we call, you already answer. And while we speak, you already hear. Lord, we thank you for indeed, Lord, you are a promising God. You are a faithful God. You are the God who over answers our prayer, O oh God. And I know and I believe, Lord, hallelujah that this prayer box, all those prayer items, oh God, Lord, you will answer it with your perfect time, in your perfect will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we claim, Lord, hallelujah, for the victory of all the answered prayer, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And even right now, Lord, as we continue to declare your Lordship over this place, we continue to declare that Jesus is Lord over our family. Jesus is Lord over Philippines. Jesus is Lord over Canada. Jesus is Lord over Israel, your chosen nation. And Jesus is Lord all over the world. And Lord, as we continue to go back to our places, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, I pray. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. And unto you, O oh God, receive all the highest glory, honor, and 